right, welcome back to the Knives Fast channel, guys. Time for a wee knife uh, by way of, I'll tilt up so we're cutting off Powdered Toast Man's head there. There we go. Uh, by way of the Apex Pass Around Group through we and Savivi Seth, thanks so much for sending these along. Um, and guys, say hello to uh, Brandon Stimpy, Powdered Toast Man, Log, and TV, and let's get started. Now, this is a Justin Lundquist designed. Uh, Eidolon, I believe is how you pronounce it. The Wii 1907 uh, for 1907-4B-B. Black G10 integral handle, uh, which is really cool. Black stonewash CPM 20 CV dagger style blade. Um, and it says with one piece uh, steel clip screwdriver. And I just saw that. And guys, you know what? I never looked to see if that was in here. Um, no, it's not in here, but I think, uh, when you guys get these, that will probably be in there, but I don't know that for sure, but it's not in the one that I got. Uh, you do have the really cool Wii, uh, uh, packaging here with the, the cloth and the nice fuzzy, uh, package here. What do you call it? Zipper pouch. Yeah, there you go. Uh, so here's the idle on guys. Here's the thing. I really love the looks of this knife. The blade is hidden. Uh, the the, the uh, rounding on the, the scales, the fact that it is a integral one-piece construction. Uh, love, love, love uh, the way the pivot looks, the way the knife looks in the package. Uh, just well done. I mean, look at that. It is just gorgeous. And then you got a really nice uh, deep carry clip. I mean, that is all, I mean, it's it's just unbelievable looking the way it is designed. And that's what drew me to getting this knife in. And that's kind of where my glowing words end, guys. I know you may not be expecting that, but I have had difficulty with this knife. Now, you must know I am not the best front flipper in the world. I am going to do a review on this guy, this Civivi uh, Lazar, and I can do it really well. You can see, okay? So I can front flip. Um, and I have seen videos on Justin Lundquist's site, uh, Instagram, and I've seen videos on um, Wee's uh, Instagram with people flipping these open with ease. So this may just be me. Now, the ones they were flipping out were a more standard style blade. Now, this blade does not weigh much of anything because it is a dagger grind. Um, but... I have a really difficult time flipping this knife. Now, let's see if I can do it, guys. Um, I have not been able to do it on my streams or any of the other videos we can review. Um, and so let's see if I can do it. No, I, I, I just can't, guys. I can slow roll it open. Um, and if I do the reach over here, you can dig your finger down in that and open it. And it hurts. Um it digs it. Now, I, again, I've seen the videos of people just flipping these with ease. They're putting their finger over here and they're just flipping it open. And so it could be me, guys, or it could be this particular knife. Um, and again, if I hold it like this, you can see I can get it open. Um, but that's not for me. Uh, so again, I, I really apologize if this, if you were looking for a really good review uh, where somebody could show you how to open this knife and how it works, this is just not the review. Um, and I'm very sorry. Um, so I'm hoping the next person I send this to, which I think is Sweet Knives, I hope he can show you guys how this thing can be flipped. Um, or maybe this is just a, a, just not the one. And it is very thin, and it is very lightweight. Now, you have Justin Lundquist's logo. It is black-coated. Um, you don't have any other... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Billboarding. You have the groove of a typical dagger. The top is not um, sharpened. But guys, if you have to hold this knife like this. You do not want to hold this knife like that. It will dig into your finger, sharpened or not. Um, so again, another place where it is really not for me. Now, um, it, this sounds like a downer of a review. This is a amazingly built knife, guys. Um, it's just not for me. And if it's for you, go get one, please. Um, this is a seven inch knife. It is, uh, the blade length is 2.87. Uh, 
The close length is 3.78, so a great fit in my hand. Note, not much left over, but that's fine. Uh, the blade thickness is 0.13. Very, very good cutter, guys. 20 CV steel, uh, flat ground, dagger, obviously, in this one, but they do make it in other styles, um, or at least I've seen that. Uh, it is a tip-up right carry only, so it is not for you lefties. Um, the liner material is stainless steel. It is a liner lock. We'll show the lock up here in just a second. Um, and again, it runs right under $200, about $195. It is in cage ceramic ball bearings as well. Um, so as far as the lockup, it is black there, but you can see it's about a 20. But again, no blade play, none whatsoever. No lock rock, no any of that. It is so well made. And that's why, and again, it's, it's a shaker, not a dropper. I just can't open it. And if I can't open a knife, I'm not going to carry it. Now, I did carry it a few times because I'm not going to review a knife, guys. I'm not going to ask for a knife without reviewing it, and I'm not going to review it without carrying it. So I carried it. It carries phenomenally in the pocket. It just disappears in your pocket. Uh, great deep carry. All that is good. I just can't open it. Um properly you saw me open it there but that's not the i mean most people don't want to open a knife like this with two hands um but that that's the way i've been opening it so go ahead tell me that i'm a doofus and how you would do it differently in the uh in the in the uh comments and that's good but for me it's just not been the one so there you go there's the review i'm going to cut it there because that's all i have there's some kind of crud on the scale there sorry about that let's see if i can get that off I, I at least want to show it looking all pretty here. Um, let's see, did I get it off? Yeah, I did. Okay, nice and clean now. Uh, there you go. And I love, love the G10. Um, it is just so well done. And the pivot cap is G10 as well. Uh, everything about this knife is so well done except the opening. If it had been a little further out, I think I would have dug it. So uh, there you go, guys. Um, there is... The Wii Eidolon, I believe is how you pronounce it. If, if I got that wrong, I apologize. Um, but uh, really, really cool, except that issue. So thanks for watching. And uh, give me your comment. Let me know what you think. Uh, hopefully give me a thumbs up on the review. And uh, guys, if you're not subscribed, please consider doing so. And thanks for watching the Knives Fast channel.